I work with discarded and found materials, ash, dried flowers, natural pigments, rainwater, wind, basically anything that I can get my hands on. My name is Dala Nasser. I'm a material and process-based artist. I'm interested in examining histories of ecology in South Lebanon and the wider region, particularly looking at toxicity, landscape, histories of monuments and myth, and how they relate to territory. I intentionally go into producing works looking towards experimentation, looking towards what I can learn from them. You know, every sort of body of work that I make, I'm not sure how it's going to turn out in the end, but I end up learning a lot while making them. I'm interested in the concept of territory as a relation between power over land and land as a material. Earth, the literal material, thinking of it as a witness to historical shifts in territory, recording instances of extraction and toxicity, so Wene is in the southeastern region of Lebanon, in a particular mountain range called Jabal Amel, which means Labor's Mountain. It's a very beautiful part of the region, but it's also survived almost 20 years of occupation and several wars. In this body of work, I look at the care that is put into tending to these lands. All of the abundance in its earth through the wildflowers I've used to dye the pieces, the self-preservation in what lives off and through the land, human and non-human. For these specific works, I used fabrics that are found in my grandparents' house, old bedsheets, old curtains, pillowcases. You can see cigarette burns in, in the, <laughs> the bedsheets. My uncle will have to explain that, not me. <laughs> and I've produced rubbings of different trees around my village, predominantly the trees that my great-grandfather planted 200 years ago oak and olive, uh, flintstone walls. My process is one of cultivating discomfort in the process of producing work. The way that I come about that is by consistently shifting the way the works are being made amongst each other. So I work on all the fabrics at once and I keep repeating the process over and over and over again until the material pushes back against me, until I feel that it tells me it can't handle anymore. It forces you to reckon with the agency of matter, the non-human witnesses, recognizing discomfort in the wilderness, in a piece of land, in the history that claims it. You question why some bodies can and cannot fit comfortably within particular territories. It's these thoughts that direct my practice and all the work that I do.